SBI, which is a serum-derived bovine immunoglobulin, manages IBSD symptoms. And the way the study worked is, if you look down here, there were three groups. One group got 10 grams of the product SBI. One got five grams, which is one packet, plus um, the placebo, five grams of this soy protein isolate. And then the placebo group basically got just 10 grams of soy protein isolate. So you had the same protein load. And the patients were screened, and then they did a daily diary baseline IBS 36 and lab tests. I'm going to show you some more information. They were then queried by phone calls, and then at the end was here at week six. And the primary endpoint was the change in the number of days per week with symptoms. So the scoring scale for the symptom diary was on a scale of zero to three, and these were the 10 symptoms that were evaluated. Abdominal pain, loose stools, bloating, flatulence, hard stools, straining, incomplete evacuation, mucus, urgency, and nausea. These are the results that were significantly different. The top group are those who got 10 grams, the middle group of, or them got 5 grams of the product and 5 grams of the placebo, and the bottom group were 10 grams of the placebo. So these were the, just the endpoints that were statistically different. Any symptoms overall were superior in the 10 gram group, abdominal pain, flatulence, bloating, loose stools, and urgency. So this is week two versus week six. So the patients were their own controls. Compared to week two to week six, the decrease were seen in these. For the middle group over here, you can see that there were changes. One of the ones that's not listed on this graph here was incomplete evacuation was actually a significant improvement in this group. And then in the bottom group, which had all the placebo, you can see there was barely any difference. So this was nice symptom change in patients who had uh, the 10 grams and some of the five grams of the product. There's no serious adverse events. The only withdrawals were due to nausea. There were two or one patient in each of the group. And then hematology changes were extremely minimal. So for some reason, the MCH, the mean corpuscular hemoglobin went up from 31.4 to 31.6. There was a slight increase in lymphocytes, but no other cell lines. And then in the placebo group, there was an increase in blood sugar that was very modest, too. So very, virtually no changes.